Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Dylan Talk Sports. My name is Dylan. In this video, what we're going to be discussing, if you, if you have not heard the news, Jim Harbaugh is in the news once again with a cheating allegation. Previously, he was under the radar. He was kind of under the spotlight for cheating whenever he was kind of tampering with NIL rules. But now he's under the radar again because he has been sending, apparently, coaches, scouts, uh, people within his department to other teams, or other teams' games of opponents that he's going to be playing in the future games and not exactly scouting them, but stealing signals of their opponents. And what I mean by the signals is when you see guys on the sideline, you'll see them holding up the giant signs. They'll be doing hand signals, trying to do things that kind of like not really say what they're doing, but they're kind of like whispering the signs. And apparently Michigan has been sending coaches, scouts, etc., to opponents games to get intel on these signals. Now I've seen a couple of people saying that this is uh, just called scouting. No, scouting is you're going maybe to your opponent's team or games and you're just kind of watching the game maybe seeing okay this player is really good this player is really good we got to watch out for this guy what they're doing is an entirely different thing so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of dive into the details kind of get a, our kind of understanding wrapped around our head of what exactly is going on and then i'm going to kind of give my opinion on kind of the whole thing do i think it is cheating do i think it's not cheating and then do i think jim harbaugh is going to get another suspension we're going to get right into this so as always if you're going to enjoy today's video make sure you do drop a like and without further ado let's get into it Okay, let's kind of go through what exactly is going on. I'm going to put it on the screen so you can kind of see what's going on here. And it says here, the NCAA notified Michigan officials in the Big Ten Conference on Wednesday that it is investigating allegations that the Wolverines were stealing signs. According to a report from Yahoo, Michigan allegedly had people attending future opponents' games, as well as those of a potential college football playoff opponents, to gather information about the team's signals for offensive and defensive plays that are sent from the sideline. The NCAA's investigation also includes games prior to the 2022 season. Now, it seems like a lot of people have been confused about this because they're like, the way the context of how they put the news out there isn't exactly what the real details are. Because when they first kind of had this whole news blow up, everybody was saying, well, what exactly they're doing wrong? Uh, well, everybody was saying they're going to, like I just read, they're going to opponents' games, and you're probably reading that, and you're saying, what's wrong there? The thing that's wrong is, the part that would be right is if they go to the games as in just buying a ticket, say just like a coach or a scout, maybe they're just like, oh, I'm just going to go to a game and they go to the game. Maybe they're just watching it, having a good time. They have some, maybe some food, drinks, they leave, go about their business. That is okay. Or like in a sense of if they were going to be scouting, I think it would be okay in my opinion to where if they were just going to go to the game and say, say like a, a Michigan coach decided to go to a Penn State game, an Ohio State game. Maybe an Indiana game, an Iowa game, teams of within their conference that they might play in the future, and they're just watching. They're just like, okay, number 44, he's really good. Okay, number 68, that guy in the offensive line, we got to make sure we can chip against or take go around him because he's going to be the best offensive lineman. But apparently, within this rule, is it states that teams are not allowed to do this stuff. It says here that it says sign stealing is technically not against NCAA rules and is a practice that has gone on with a wink wink for decades. Scouting opponents in person was actually outlawed by the NCAA in 1994 as a cost-cutting measure. The rule change eliminated all live scouting by staff members or scouting services, which was a big change for college football and also in men's and women's basketball. University presidents believed it was just as easy for coaches to scout opponents on TV or just by using their tape. They also had hoped that it would bring more equity to the playing field because schools with smaller athletic budgets couldn't afford to send their coaches all over the country on scouting trips like the big schools did. Now to kind of put that into context, what exactly they're saying is, think of it this way, you have your big schools like your Georgia, your Michigan, your Ohio State, your uh, basically all your schools like in the big time SEC, Big Ten, Big 12, you get where I'm going. Those schools all make a lot of money because they're winning their conferences, they're winning a lot of games, national media always on their games, they're ranked, going to playoffs, etc. But when it comes to your smaller schools like your group of fives, your AAC, your Mountain West, your nobody schools, sometimes even like Division II schools who are being paid by these big dogs to come play the Alabamas, the Georgias, like your Samfords, your UMass, etc. Those schools can't afford the budget to send scouts to other places, so that's why they kind of outlawed it back in 1994. And when I kind of read it from that perspective, it does now make sense. Now, the man that was kind of behind all this, his name is Connor Stallions. It says here Stallions is a person of interest in the NCAA's investigation. Sources told ESPN he has worked as an on-off-field analyst for the Wolverines since May of 2022. According to his LinkedIn account, 
he was previously a volunteer coach at Michigan from 2015 to 2022. The son of two Michigan alumni, Stallions attended the United States Naval Academy, where he was a student assistant on the football team. After being commissioned as a second lieutenant in the Marine Corps in 2017, Stallions worked as a graduate assistant at Navy before beginning his military training. Stallions wrote on LinkedIn that he attempts to, quote, employ Marine Corps philosophies and tactics into the sport of football regarding strategies and staffing, recruiting, scouting, intelligence, planning, and more, quote. So it seems like what he's trying to almost implant here, or implement here is he's trying to say, I did nothing wrong. We're trying to learn the other teams and trying to understand what they do good, what they do bad, so we can use that to our advantage. And they can do the same thing to us is what he's trying to say. But like I just read a minute before, some teams don't have the budget like you do. If they don't have the budget like you do, they can't afford to send you off to God knows where and scout another team. To kind of put into perspective, if he's scouting future opponents for teams that he may play in the future, that means he's going to schools like Penn State, Ohio State, future Big Ten opponents that are teams he wants to learn about. Uh, say in the SEC, Georgia, Alabama. Maybe he has to go to schools like USC, Oklahoma, Texas. He's got to go all over the country. That ain't cheap. And the icing on the cake is the worst part is like we already said earlier. If this was just going to the games, just watching the games, maybe writing down some things like, okay, this guy's good, this guy's bad, this guy we gotta watch out for, this quarterback's really good, those kind of things, and they were gonna be chopping their nuts off for that, I would be like sitting here saying, are we really gonna argue about this? But the fact that they have this whole sign stealing allegation where right now I believe they have taken Connor uh, Stallion's laptop from him in the investigation because they're trying to actually dissect and see, does he have, whether it be pictures, notes of, maybe future opponents signs and maybe uh, different signals that they might be using on the sideline within his laptop. And if he does, that's going to make this whole thing a little bit more juicier. One of the situations that, that, that some of the analysts and reporters have been kind of comparing this to is New England Patriots uh, Spygate. If you don't remember that, look it up. Quick Google search. You can figure out all about it. But it does have some similarities to it because right now it almost some people are on the side of the boat where it's like Michigan is straight up cheating. And some people are saying, this is just scouting. Now, for the people that are on the Michigan side, and I understand I'm an Ohio State fan, but I'm trying to look at this from an outsider's point of view. For Michigan fans that are trying to say they're just going after Harbaugh, we aren't cheating. The way the rule book is set up, I believe, is that, like it said, teams are to do, I guess, like their scouting or their review for a team within the week through game film and basically just tape. I mean, you can watch the games, you can get all the film you need just from that, you don't have to be at the game to know how a team plays. Because when you're playing the game, you're playing the players and the coaches are trying to outcoach the coach. You shouldn't need signs and signals from the other team to beat them. Because if you do, that's called cheating. So kind of to wrap it up, let's look at the big picture. Do I think it's cheating? Now that I've kind of got the whole context in, yes, it's cheating. If this guy Connor Stallions is proven guilty of what he did, it's cheating. Now with Jim Harbaugh, he has come out and this kind of what the whole news has said, he had no idea any of this was going on, which is what every single head coach is going to do. Obviously, they don't, they don't, they don't know what was going on. Now, if this Connor Stallions is basically proven not guilty, they don't find anything, and this whole thing kind of gets brushed up on a rug, we move on. But if they do find something and they find evidence that he was stealing signs, and Harbaugh just continues to say, "I have no idea about what's happening," they're going to have to keep digging in the Harbaugh and try to figure out, did you know? Because if you did know and you were using these signs to cheat they could go and as far and from what i've heard i believe heather dinich one of the reporters for the college football playoff committee uh college football in general she has come out and said that they could go as far as banning michigan from bowl eligibility probably starting next year but when it comes to the college football playoff they could go win these games this year but they could just be exiled from the playoffs this year meaning they could go 12-0 beat ohio state maybe they still let them go compete in the big 10 title game and then they'll have to literally say, well, Michigan, you're not winning or you're not going to the playoffs because of what you did. We're going to have to just pick a random team to go to the playoffs. Now, do I think it's going to be that far? We got to wait for the evidence. We got to see what kind of gets decided. But like I said, I think it's cheating. I think it's blatant cheating. And I think Harbaugh knows what was going on. Every head coach knows what's going on with everything in their facility. They're just never going to say it. I did. But I'm going to wrap it up there. Hopefully you guys did go on to enjoy today's video. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below. Leave me a comment down below what you kind of think of the whole situation. Do you think Harbaugh knew? Do you think it's cheating? Do you think it's not cheating? If you're a Michigan fan, what's your kind of opinion on this whole thing? I know I'm a high state fan. You don't like me, but just 
kind of take the beef away, what do you kind of think of the whole opinion? If you wanted to enjoy today's video, make sure you do drop a like. It's very much appreciated to do so. And if you are brand new to the channel and you're enjoying the content that I do post here, I upload all sorts of sports news whenever it comes to major sports news. I always talk about it here on the channel, but mainly it's going to be Ohio State content, Cleveland Browns content, Cleveland sports in general. It's going to be here on the channel. So if you enjoy that type of stuff and you want to go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button, feel free to do so. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell to be notified the second I post. But without further ado, this has been Don't Talk Sports. Have a great day. Peace.